this is my little wire stripping machine. It's all custom built. Machine work is all by hand. So it calibrates the cutter when you first start it up. This selects the number of pieces that you want, whatever you want. I'll just go 10. Two and a half inches long. Strip length is the amount of wire that it'll strip off the end, so whatever, up to half inch, down to 100 thou. We'll pick 300 thou. Gauge is the gauge. Strip cut is whether it'll perforate the piece. Pull is whether it'll pull it or not. You can just perforate it and not pull it, or you can perforate it and pull it off about 50 thou. Um, prime eject is to either eject the wire out of the machine or when you're putting your, putting your new wire in, prime it. So now it's primed with the right length for the strip length that you set and everything else. For the first piece that comes out is good. Manual will give you one piece of the profile that you entered. So you'll have one strip wire with 300 thou on the end and it'll be two and a half inches exactly in between these two points. And if you push auto, you'll get the quantity that you entered at the beginning of the profile. It's for making breadboard wires. When you get into breadboarding, you use a lot of wires and it gets to be tedious to make dozens and dozens of jumpers. So it's easier to have a little machine that makes them for you. Then it's ready for the rest. Now there's a couple of other things and the home menu has got an eject as well so you could put the next piece of wire in if you wanted a next profile or whatever. And if you go past the manual, auto manual screen, hold, hold this over and it'll get over to a calibration area. This calibration area is basically to control the cams on the knife system. So this will be how many steps the calibration wheel goes past the trans beam sensor here so it could be 77 steps past that that's the kind of your home position and then beyond that every gauge has its own set of values that will control how far that knife moves in the stripping mode in cutting it always cuts it always goes all the way down but in stripping it has to be very precise so then when you go back out of that menu it'll remember all those in EEPROM and it will also remember the last profile that you put in. So if you go into that area and you come back out, it'll remember the last profile that you, you did. So that's about it.